Good morning, Aylin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's date is May 17th, and today's day of recognition is National Pizza Party Day. Now over to Mr. Mansonides. Good morning, Aylin Jr. Hi, happy Friday to each and every one of you. Man, we are getting closer and closer to the end of the year. A couple of things. We're going to start with our Aylin Strong folks this morning, and then we're going to make some announcements about our upcoming Lahar drill. First of all, Gavin McDonough was nominated by Mrs. Jordan for helping at the long jump at the track meet. So nice job, Gavin. We have you. Ifani Okoye, nominated by Ms. Pasquale for being together and respectful. And Grace Mallory, nominated by Mrs. Ramser for being timely. So Grace Mallory, Ifani Okoye, and Gavin McDonough come down to the main office and claim your prize. You are Aylin Strong. So today is the day that we do our citywide Lahar drill. And I just checked the weather forecast. Looks like it's going to be cloudy and no rain. Knock on some wood there. So hopefully it's a, it's a clear way for us to walk to and from. So what do we have to remember today? Hopefully you remember to wear some comfortable walking shoes because it's about a mile there and a mile back. At about 9.10, you're going to hear over the intercom announcement the uh, Lahar siren that will play over that um, uh, intercom. Once you hear that, that is a signal, students and staff, for you to evacuate to the back of the school where we always evacuate for our fire drills. You will line up with your class. Your teacher will take roll. Once we get the green sign, your teacher will get uh, released by yours truly uh, to head on your walk. Mr. Pika's class will be leading the way with Mr. Paws, and then each class will follow them one at a time. You will walk two by two, so find a buddy, a partner, to walk with you on the sidewalks where there are sidewalks, and uh, you need to make sure you walk at a brisk pace. We don't want large gaps between classes, so please make sure you walk briskly because we are holding up traffic to cross the major intersection, so we want to be respectful of that as well. Please be careful when you walk today. Make sure you're not walking on people's yards. Make sure that you're staying on the sidewalks. Make sure you're paying attention when you're in crossing intersections. Once we get to the park, you will line up again. Your teachers will take roll again, and once the last person comes, again, that's yours truly, uh, then we'll release you to go back to the school and we'll rewalk our route. We will need to be careful when we rewalk our route because there may be other schools that are on their way to the park, Karshner Elementary and Maplewood, for example. Um, so we'll have to make sure we adjust accordingly. Once you get back to school, you'll return to your second period class, and you'll wait there until you hear the intercom announcement releasing you to third period. We are on a special bell schedule today, so ask your teachers about that. Um, so we have a special schedule for the Lahar drill. We're hoping it takes us about an hour, give or take. It may take us a little longer. We just aren't sure. That's why we practice. Uh, if you have mobility issues or health-related issues and you cannot make the walk, we do have a modified walk for you today. You will evacuate with your class, and then you will head to the orange cone out in the bus loop area. You will stay there, wait for a staff member, and once everybody evacuates, you will walk your modified route and then stay in the library until the rest of the students get back. So that is going to happen today as well. Students, you will leave your backpacks and your notebooks and those kinds of things in your second period classroom today, so you won't need to take any of that stuff with you. Um, again, be respectful today. Make sure that you're doing a good job on the drill uh, and you're paying attention to the directions of your staff members. They will all be wearing orange vests today. And so uh, just be extra helpful and uh, make sure that we're doing a good job today um, following directions and, and being safe. Uh, we don't want anybody to, to get hurt and we certainly want, don't want anybody to make bad choices today. All right, that is that. Uh, final plug also for the school play. Make sure that uh, if you haven't had a chance to check that out, we have that tomorrow tonight. And Saturday night, so I wanted to put a plug in for that. All right, guys, we look forward to a great drill today and a great day of school. Back to you. Please note that every Thursday after school from 2.25 to 4 o'clock, Mrs. Leeper will be in room 139 for extra help in Microsoft Office and for certification testing opportunities. The JV girls track team beat the Ferrucci Cougars 63-26. to Samantha Pereira placed first in the 75-meter hurdles and second in the 110-meter hurdles. Aylin swept the 100-meter dash with Olivia Anderson, Ella Collins, and Avery Skog. Olivia and Ella also placed first and second in the 200-meter dash. The 4x100 relay won with a time of 1 minute, 1 second. Kiana Luke McIntyre placed first in the mile. Both 4x1 and 4x2 won the races. Coquette Mengesha placed first in the 110 meter hurdles. Mia Ziegler placed third in the 800 meter run. In the field events, Alyssa Molinari won shot put 
while Ella Collins, Avery Skog, and Olivia Anderson swept the long jump. Even in monsoons like rains, the Lady Falcons were amazing. Come support your Falcon track team next Thursday at their home game against Callis. Attention all Summit applicants. Today is your last day to turn them in to turn in applications. Please remember to turn them into Mr. Bielik before the end of the day. Aylin's drama production of Arsenic and the Old Lace continues this today. Support your fellow Falcons and enjoy a great show. Be ready to laugh your lungs out and sit at the edge of your seat because this show is a whole range of old time goodness. Show times are today and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Commons. Tickets are $3 with ASB, $5 for general admission, and without SB. Bring your family and see you there. Hey Falcons, looking to play for the 8th grade varsity football team next year. Jersey orders are now open until June 6th. Remember, numbers are first come, first serve. For all other football players, students, and staff, there are a selection of sweatshirts, one quarter zips, and hats available at the Winning Seasons website. Just type in Aylin to the search bar. Be sure to check out the new Aylin logo. Now time for birthdays. Today's birthdays are Bradley Dillon, Diego Pablo, and then the weekend bar birthdays are Aaliyah Boyce, Matthew Crane, Bryn Dizon, and Natalia Molina. And the famous birthday is pop singer A.J. Mitchell. Today's Snapple fact of the day is baseball hits that bounced over the fence were considered home runs until the 1930s. Aylin, have a good Friday. <laughs>